honestly, none at all. I feel great. Um, in my mind, I always wanted to come back when I was 110%, and I didn't want to, you know, halfway do it, and maybe I'm good, maybe I'm not. So I made sure I'm 100% I'm healthy, and, and, you know, now I'm back. Chris, I think you said this a little bit previously, but how important was it, um, or, or useful even, to have an entire, you know, 19 months or however long it was to really yeah. work on your body, make sure that, you know, every muscle, everything is, is set so that, you know, not only are you healthy now, but you're going to stay right. healthy going forward. Right. Yeah, that was, that was, you know, one of the main things for us. You know, the knee almost recovered by itself. You know, I obviously had to work on the strength and everything, but uh, I wanted to make sure my body was you know, more prepared and, 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 you know, able to um, play at a high level for 82 games. And, um, and it, was, it was a long process. Uh, it was, I don't know, 18 or 20 months, you know, and uh, it, was, it was really tough a lot of times because um, I didn't really see the finish line, you know, and when you don't see the finish line, it's, it's very... Uh, tough mentally to keep pushing yourself every day um, to be back, and um, it was uh, it became w much easier once the last season was over and I, and everybody was off. It was off season and and the summer was here, and that's when it became a lot more easier to um, to it, the, the work became easy because I saw the finish line. I knew I was going to start playing this season, so uh, it was a long process. Um, I'm I'm proud of myself for for pushing through the process and and and. And um, doing the work was needed to do to be at this point now, and, um, and I just feel like I've grown mentally, physically, and, and I'm ready to start the season. What did it take to get those muscles there? Last time we saw you, you didn't have it. Yeah, hard work, hard work. I put in a lot of work this summer, um, focused a lot on a lot of things, and and um, you know it's just something you know that that was one of one of our main focuses, and you know I didn't want to. I didn't want to put on too much weight for a brand new knee, so everything had to be calculated. And, and at the end, you know, we got here, we got to the, you know, close to the season where, where we wanted to be at the exact weight we wanted to be at, and, and feel the exact way I wanted to feel at. So, um, you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for uh, for my team, for my support system around me um, that helped me to get to this point. Uh, now, right before the season, I'm extremely excited. What did that mean to bulking? Your decision, Mavericks talked to you about it. Sorry, the commitment to getting bigger and bulking was yeah. that your decision or Mavericks? Or no, I think I mean it was pretty clear for everybody. You know, uh, you know it was it was something that was, it was also going to happen naturally. Just me getting older and, and mature, my body maturing, I was going to you know get bigger. Um, but at the same time, <clears throat> you can put on weight and not feel the same way and and not be the same player and not move the same way. So for me, it was important to feel the, the how I'm supposed to feel, but get stronger also. So there's a balance always with those kind of things and and. Um, Everybody, everybody, you know, who's around me, who's who's close to me, was involved in this, and and uh, you know, it's only the beginning. It's not not that I've achieved something. I've gained a few pounds, and I feel stronger, and so on. But but this is a uh, this is uh, not nonstop work that we're going to keep putting in. What is your weight uh, versus what it was, uh, let's say, last season when you were rehabbing? Um, yeah, are you where you picked up the nickname Drago? <laughs> um, so I started. I came in the league. I was two twenty three. Uh, summer league 223 I remember um, that was you know not a good way for me I felt I felt horrible too and then um, as the maybe my first year I put on a lot of weight I was 235 but I kind of felt uh, slow and and not really like myself so once the, the weight came down I actually felt better but now I got to a point where uh, now actually I'm 242 um, and I feel great I feel light I feel strong uh, I feel like I can move the, the, the way I need, I need to be moving for, you know, the type of game I play. Um, so, yeah, that's a big, that's a big jump, 223 to 242. You okay with Drago? I mean, it's fine. Yeah, it's funny. It's fine. Okay. How do you feel about play along with that, Luca? Yeah, I'm extremely excited about that. I've never played with a guy like Luca. Um, he, um, he's vision on the court. He's passing ability. He's ability to score. And take attention off of uh, off of his teammates. You know that's that's uh, something I I've, haven't really had a player like him. Um, so I'm extremely excited, and, and you know, I can't wait for us to actually get some NBA minutes on the court, so we can um, start uh, creating that that bond on the court. How eager are you to just play in a real game when it's been so long since you did that? Uh, I can't even explain with words how excited I am. Uh, it's been a long time, and. Um, for me, I wanted to come back early this season, this off season. I wanted to come back early so I can get a feel for the game already, pick up, play some pickup, and uh, to get a, you know, to get in rhythm. But uh, 
it's it's it's, it's going to be different once it's you know NBA NBA games. So I'm excited about that, obviously, and I can't even I can't even tell you in, in words how you know how special that moment will be for me. Does Coach talk to you about how he wanted to use you, or is he going to do some stuff that you did when you were in New York and in Europe, or is yeah. he going to do something completely different? Yeah. No, we've talked, we've, we've had some conversations about that, and and um, you know. I trust, uh, I trust Coach 100%. He has so much experience, and and you know what he, what he has done in his career. It's you know, there's no doubt that he will put me in the right positions, and 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 he will put me in positions where I can succeed. I know you look forward to playing with Luca. But do you look forward to playing with Boban? And you guys like a twin tower, two seven foot three guys. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. You know, uh, probably the two tallest guys in the league. Uh, Boban is huge, so strong. Um, so uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. And we can, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to play with any of these guys. I can't wait to get back on the court for myself. So, um, you know, it's, it's, that's it. I'm just, I'm just excited. Can you describe your relationship so far with Luca off the court? Yeah, we have. I want to sit down so bad. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like a president here. Um, we have a great relationship. We, um, we know each other for already for a while played against each other in the European games and and um, you know we both speak Spanish we we, we get um, uh, we uh, uh, we uh, yeah. hold on I can't remember the word uh, we get along well we get along well and off the court so I think that's also going to translate on the court you know so we're excited KP, Chance to talk with Derek a little bit and talk about Dallas and making the adaptation here and these fans. What, what advice did Derek give with you? I haven't really talked that much to Dirk. Um, you know, uh, all I know is we got um, huge shoes to fill. You know, me and Luca with with Dirk being on now and and what he created for this for this city for this organization for 20 years. You know, this type of culture. Uh, we have huge shoes to fill, and uh, you know, both me and Luca were excited about that and. And you know, I hope I hope Dirk is going to be around a lot, so we can we can learn more from him. And, and you know, there's going to be all kinds of situations. So, who who there's not there's not going to be a better person to ask for advice than Dirk. How do you go How do you go about that? Is that something you've already talked with Luca about? About what? Building those shoes. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to overthink anything. You know, we just have to play our games and and, and represent the city the right way, represent the uh, organization the right way. Um, but Dirk is, you know, he's a special human being. You know what he did for this place and, and how loyal he was and and so on. So that's, you know, that's not something easy to um, to, uh, to replicate. You know, so. Uh, but we're excited. We're excited, and and, and you know, it's it's a it's an opportunity for us for sure. Do you Were you tempted to at all to play with him one time last year? Were you tempted at all? I was I was super tempted to play for the last 10, 15 games of the season. <laughs> uh, once I, once I got traded here, um, but yeah, of course that would have been great. But you know, I'm, I'm glad that I had the chance to play against him. Um, that was also an experience. You know, he was one of my idols growing up, and um, to be able to guard him and 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 score on him. But he also he scored on me more than I scored on him. <laughs> but to, just to have that experience was was uh, was pretty awesome. What are the team's chances of making it to the playoffs this year? Sorry. Team's chances of making it to the playoffs this year. In our mind, we have to make the playoffs. That's the goal for us. Um, there is no other, you know, goals for us just to make the playoffs as a team. Um, so, you know, we're gonna we're gonna put in the work necessary to to get to that point. But, you know, the Western Conference is is extremely tough. We already know that, but um, we believe that with this, with this group, is we're capable of doing that. KP coming to a new situation, a new city like Dallas, um, and playing with a player like like Luca. Are there any concerns about chemistry and gelling? And what do you foresee as far as how much time it would take to get that chemistry? Yeah, of course, it's gonna it's gonna take us some time for sure. You know, we're not gonna, you know, come on the court and, and you know play like we played for ten years already together. But but I feel like with um, with the type of personalities we have and, and where we come from, we're both European, we both speak Spanish. Um, all those things are gonna help for us to build a chemistry on the floor on the floor. Um, and just knowing you know how how selfless Luca is, sharing the ball with his teammates and, and making everybody better. Uh, I have no doubt that uh, we'll find that connection sooner or later. Do you expect to set some games early on, back to backs, for uh, load management reasons and all that? Is that the expectation? I'm not sure yet. I don't want to, you know, say something that I'm not supposed to. Um, 
I feel great physically. Um, I'm, really, I'm, I'm just excited to get back on the court, and we'll see. We'll see what you know how uh, how we want to um, do this. So it, it depends on the team, obviously. You know, so I'm here to play. I'm here to play. I'm here to play whenever. <laughs> Yeah, I always, always uh, work on my game, which is, you know, I'm not a, not a bodybuilder at the end of the day. You know, I have to be able to score the basketball and, and do all these things on the court. So um, for me, I kept, you know, doing what I've been doing so far, um, try to add some things to my game. Um, but most importantly for me was um, and is to get to get that uh, rhythm back for the game, you know, and, 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 you know, the game is fast, especially, you know, these days it's super fast and I have to be able to react quickly and, and, and shoot the ball, shoot the ball quickly and, and, uh, and do all the things I've was able to do before, but do it at even a better level. So, um, just, just, I was excited to play a lot of pickup, you know, just play pickup and get a feel for the game. A couple more for Christophs. As you're playing pickup uh, with Luca in particular, how are you visualizing where, where you guys are going to be most effective? You know, what area is going to jump out to the fans? I think um, it's going to be pretty simple, just a two-win game. Whatever it is, pick and roll, pick and pop, uh, we're going to have to read each other. That's where we're going to, I think, uh, we're going to have to find that that uh, chemistry. You know, when he, he knows when I'm going to pop and when I'm going to roll, and, and we can really mess up uh, team defenses like that. If they want to switch, you know, he can attack the mismatch, I can attack the mismatch. So I think it's going to be... It, can, it, it could be a nightmare for the teams going forward. So uh, we just have to uh, develop that um, chemistry on the floor. Can you need a look who plays a lot of video games, like mm -hmm. a lot of guys in the league. Do you play very much? Honestly, I got into it a little bit because um, I was missing the competition so much. Um, I was out for so long and, and I missed competing so much that I got into like some, some shooting game. Uh, uh, so I played a little bit, but I'm not really, you know, not, not a Fortnite guy. You had, a, you had a, a big rookie season, then took a step and got to the All Star level. Can you help Luca kind of adjust and, and reach whatever his next level is? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if he needs it. He's, uh, you know, he's very special. He was the MVP of Euroleague at what, 18 years old? I mean, that's that's pretty unbelievable uh, to to play at that level, at that young, with Real Madrid, and. You know, for him, I think, you know, he's, he's, he still has things to learn, as we all do, but uh, he's very mature on the court. Um, he, um, he'll find ways to, to be great, for sure, if, if you know, it's not going to happen as naturally. So, uh, I have no doubt Luca will be fine. There's been a lot of talk about you and Luca, obviously. What's your impression of the rest of your teammates? I'm, I'm excited to play with all these guys. A lot of young guys, a lot of talented, hungry young guys that are, are going to, um, give it their all every every day in practice first of all and then in games and everybody's gonna you know come in ready I know I, 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 I see the um, the motivation the hunger in these guys that are you know working there and, and we're also there like off season early in off season working with everybody so um, it's it's good to know that uh, you know I'm gonna have those, those type of uh, teammates those type of personalities out there on the court with me um, so you know we're gonna push each other every day. Um, I like the saying, uh, iron sharpens iron, you know, and so I think we're, we're in a pretty good place. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.